Hello and welcome to this first time me on camera explaining what I do with uh, photography regarding 360 tours and I thought I'd show you um, my website just to show you some of the good and the bad and some of the mistakes that I made along the way because we all have to start somewhere and why not show you the mistakes just as well as the good stuff. Uh, without further ado I'm going to take you to the website now and we shall um, see them together so let's go and here we go as you can see this is the website 360tourswarrington.co.uk uh, I'm pulling up an old restaurant tour this is one of my first tours I did way back in 2017 uh, a bit of a basic tour really it's got um, a nice little navigation bar at the bottom as you can see it's got a up down left arrow zoom in zoom out uh, the next thing is a stop start rotation if you wanted to, to rotate around without having to do any input and then the next thing along there would be an information and a hand turner which you can do uh, if you notice that says kitchen that's our next hot spot that you can go to on the tour again I've put on a, a rotation what's lovely about this is it just shows the customer how nice the kitchen is in this particular restaurant uh, I've just pulled up an information thing I wouldn't probably do that nowadays unless it was a bit more regarding the information about the kitchen uh, I didn't really know what I was doing <laughs> in the early days so that's what I was doing baby changing area now the sharp eyed amongst you will notice a few mistakes one is the mirror if you go back on it you'll see the camera that I took the picture with I was outside the room it's a single shot camera and inside I've also put uh, a bit of a no-no these days uh, an advertising logo at the bottom uh, not now needed normally unless it's the company that's actually doing it uh, in other words the restaurant they would have their logo or nothing at all okay here's another one is a, a market uh, a mal if you're in America but it's really a stall holders there's a nice uh, fly out stall holder thumbnail which you can quickly uh, search through and if you wanted to find a particular person let's go into nosy parker's sweet stall so there we are straight to the sweet stall inside the market another thing that you've noticed on this tour is uh, we've got a facebook link so that's a great thing to put on for people who uh, are booking your tours uh, can I put a Facebook link on yes you can and, and many other things you can do and uh, move along to another customer there singleton all of these had um, Facebook links uh, again the same usual tools uh, zoom in zoom out uh, I notice a staircase there. It would have been nice to put something at the top of the staircase to link you up to the next level but again uh, we learn as we go don't we um, just another one uh, a quick one here is a estate agent or if you're selling your own property you might want to do a little tour because you've got a nice property and it's just a better way of showing around if people are so far away so like they live in a big capital city away from you and your house is a bit more expensive in that area and you're not at the, the right price maybe it's just a sticker and you want it to move a bit quicker uh, why not make a tour for it nice little one here uh, a bit more sleeker looking again we've got a, uh, a navigation bar which I'm clicking on now and if you notice on the left hand side you've also got where we've been on the menus so we've looked in the front lawn and we've looked in the rear lounge uh, we've also got a share option so you could share it to, uh, in those days Twitter now of course it's X here's a quick zoom so you can do a quick zoom in and zoom out uh, so you no need to reset it all of the time uh, and the full the full bar at the side is available to you so this is the large front bedroom and you'll notice a, a flashing hotspot there cross landing and we're now at the cross landing you notice the little white spots they're all the hot spot flashing and as we've moved along now we've learnt a bit more we can now remove the tripod and how the heck did that person do it well you just remove yourself uh, I will be showing you how to do that in more videos to come but for now just rest assured I know what I'm doing nowadays 
<laughs> it's took a long time but i'm prepared to give you all that information for nothing if you want to watch my uh, videos as they come along or or better still maybe uh, ask me a question and maybe i'll to answer it quicker and sooner than waiting for it to come along you never know anyway that's just a quick tour of how the tours that i do work and the good thing is you can sell them you can sell them to people you might make yourself a little side hustle business i don't know but i'll be going further into in further in depth into the equipment i use these days as opposed to what i used when i started out so if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching